Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Mossy Creek Mushrooms. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on uh, what's going on here. I know that I've been silent for about seven days and trying to make that unusual for me, though it's not always the way it goes. I just figured you guys would like to see labs coming along really nicely. We've got our equipment being stored in here, our cultures, which by the way, thank you guys very much for all the orders. I have been stunned by how many cultures and spawn and everything else we've been selling, so thank you all very much for that. Uh, new t-shirts came off the print recently so those are going to be going on the website very 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 soon uh, Zach everyone else I know that you guys have been asking so we're gonna have that ready and available for purchase very quickly these are the samples of the first runs that we've got we had to make a couple minor changes oh new tattoo nice little beehive some mushrooms growing out of it uh, it's not anywhere near finished, and I'm not going to do a really, you know, in-depth thing unless you guys just want to see it, but uh, um, it'll be there. We have, ooh, one update you guys will be like, uh, really like to see. We've got some B-roll of it for you. We grew pinks for Valentine's Day this year. The first time since 2012. I am so excited about that. I have been trying for years to get pinks ready by Valentine's Day. It's always been a week late two weeks late, three weeks late. Even this time we're close to being late. We're gonna have a lot of mushrooms, a lot of the pink oysters that come in afterwards, but we've got enough to at least start giving our chefs pink oysters for Valentine's Day dinners. Blows my mind. It's all due to this new lab. We were able to keep it at a warmer temperature than we were the old lab, which means I was able to incubate pinks for the appropriate amount of time to actually get them to fruit. Super exciting stuff. Uh, finally got the spawn fridge moved into the lab got a nice little whiteboard we're gonna hang up so that I can talk to Samantha and Tim when I'm not here just write down some stuff they can write down shopping uh, lists or supplies that they're gonna need uh, we've extended out what we're gonna use as our cooling racks to make it easier to get to um, most of these shelves are being used for experiments we've got some new substrates that we're trialing. I've been wanting to get them in here because it's easier for me to control what comes out of this room than it is our other brood chamber in there. Uh, trying to think of what else there's new. Uh, other than that guys, you know, we've got uh, mainly it's just more of what we've had before. So very exciting stuff going on. Uh, I guess we can talk really quick about projections since we had the pink oysters come in. Uh, working backwards is really important to us here uh, it's a blog post that I wrote I will link it down below it's kind of an ethic that we have of pick a target aim for that target and then take a step every day towards that target and always break it down so that you know how many steps you have to take per week to get to your target so we always try to pick a target income for the year and then we know how many cases of mushrooms we have to sell to get that revenue uh, and then to get our net from that we know how many blocks go into a case, uh, roughly speaking, and so we just are able to average everything out and project based on what income we want to make for the year. Uh, if we wanted to get pinks for our chefs for Valentine's Day, we know that it takes roughly two to three weeks for pink oysters to grow in, so we started planting those three weeks ago, and now, lo and behold, we have the pink oysters coming through. But before that, we had to have the spawn ready. And to have the spawn ready, we had to start making the grain masters. We made the grain masters, we had to make uh, the agar plates. So, this business is very much about being able to read the flow of what your year is gonna look like and being able to respond to that flow. Any kind of systems you can put into place to keep your flow stable is gonna help you. So that's where we come into the selling um, on a weekly basis. We try to get our chefs to sign up for a weekly uh, mushroom delivery. That means that I know that I I need you know a certain amount of cases per week every week weeks in advance and I know how many blocks we need to be packing to make that delivery. And it's not always perfect, it's not always exact. I always try to go a little bit over and produce a little bit more than what is required so that if we have any contaminations we've still got mushrooms. Uh, if we have any hiccups or like a cold spell and things slow down, we've still got mushrooms coming in. You know, any little variance and we're able to pull into that a little bit of extra mushrooms that we've been producing. 
if I've got extra, which hasn't been happening a lot lately because of how many chefs have been beating down my door, but if we have extra, I use those extra mushrooms, pack up a full case, and then take them to a prospective new chef and say, you know, here's a sample case. I know your time's more important than mine. I'll see you later. Let the product speak for itself. Have my card stapled on there. They usually call me before I'm even out into the parking lot. So being able to read that flow, project out anything that you can, and respond accordingly, and then keep a system that keeps you stable and flexible and takes advantage of any disruption that you have, like an increase in mushrooms, is going to help you out. So learn to read that water. You know, it's like uh, I used to be a raft guide for a very short time. Uh, a few of my cousins are raft guides. I've been on the water for since I was a little kid. My gramps would always take me canoeing. <clears throat> Excuse me, that kind of hit me a little bit harder than I thought it would. But he'd always take me canoeing, and he, he would talk about reading the water. When I was a, a guide for a little bit, they would talk about reading the water. Most of my cousins know how to read that water. They can see rocks uh, or eddies or uh, how the current changes just from reading that surface of the water. That's what you're doing in business. You're trying to, to take data in everywhere that you can, project you know, where you think that's going to take you. What's the probability I'm going to be going to this place or this place, taking this path or that path? And then building a plan based on where you're aiming at and know each little step that you're taking going through. That's going to be the biggest help to you that, that uh, I can ever think of telling you is uh, project, work backwards, little steps, and then just grind it, hit it, get it. Uh, I don't really have anything else for today. I know this is kind of a short one, kind of a straightforward video, a little unusual for me, not very many cuts and edits and such. But uh, you know, guys, if you guys want to learn anything more about growing mushrooms or if you want to continue down this journey with us, please subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, check the descriptions for any codes. I know that's the stuff that you guys really like. Any codes or links that you guys might uh, be able to get to get free stuff on any orders through suppliers, discounts on your orders. Uh, that really helps to me to support this channel and produce as much free content and at the best value for you guys as possible. Uh, and as always, guys, keep spawning culture. Come on.